Okay, I got one on. I don't know what it is. Holy crow. That's a big fish. Right on. Hi, I'm Greg Ovens, and this is Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft. I am in Oklahoma and uh, I just showed a little clip of the airport in Dallas and uh, I've been to Atlanta Airport which is the busiest airport in the world and Dallas is number two. It was a big airport. What I'm attempting to do here in Oklahoma is I'm going to try to catch catfish and I want to get a wild boar. That's the main objective. I've got permission on private property to hunt them and trap them. And I've got an idea for a trap that I think you're going to find very interesting. So, let's get on with this adventure and go and scout out for some boar and try to catch some catfish. Another species that I have not caught. A raccoon in the garbage can here. We'll have to put a stick in there so we can get out or something. Okay, I put a stick in there. He should be able to climb out now. Threw him a bit of a treat. Didn't seem interested in the lettuce or anything. Okay, well, I'll just leave that stick there. See if he gets out. Go for a little walk here. See what we can see. The color of that wood. Definitely different here. I gotta hike through the bush here and find the pond where there may or may not be catfish. I think I was told there was. Set my hammock up. But other than that, I've got my fishing gear my pack with had to put a warmer coat on because it is actually a little chilly i thought it'd be a lot warmer actually down here but let's get to the pond and see if we can catch any fish and set up camp and spend a night at least maybe two um i always like going new places this is cool I'm going to show you here, we have a prickly pear cactus, right there, cool. And here is an older puffball. And here, there's a turtle shell. I'm not sure what kind of turtle, but we all have to figure it out. Okay, there's the pond. It's not all that huge. A sunken boat back there. I just uh, brought some uh, chicken liver here. Put some of that on. And just let it sit. Well, I've been uh, sitting here for a while. I haven't seen any action, but uh, always got to try, you know. Fishing's not a guarantee, and uh, hunting is not a guarantee either. So just keep trying. There's this metal thing here. 
I don't know if this is intended as a rod holder, but I think I can use it for that. I don't see why it won't work. Rocks break. <laughs> Pretty soft rock. That'll work. Okay, I got one on. I don't know what it is. Holy crow. That's a big fish, it's a big bass, big largemouth bass. I hope I don't lose it. Yeah. Largemouth bass, there you go. Ha! I actually decided to go with a spinner. There you go. Largemouth bass, wham. And it was almost in the shore, and I seen him coming for it, and wham. So there's breakfast, folks. First fish in Oklahoma, right on. Okay, so now that I got something to eat for this morning, I'm gonna go over the catfish again. I'll take the spinner off, just put a hook on, <clears throat> and uh, some chicken liver again. And that's the species I'm actually after. I mean, you know, I've caught bass before, but that, that's my actually uh, first largemouth bass. We only have smallmouth bass, and I think that's all I caught down in Maine at Zach's. That's a huge bass, or what? Look at him jumping. Pretty big bass. So I've been hammering a lot of species that I've never caught before this year. That chain pickerel and stuff like that. So... Never caught a catfish. Well, we just don't have them. Never been anywhere that has them, but they're supposed to be in this pond. So thing is with this chicken liver, pretty soft. I don't know how it stays on really. Well, I just won't cast it out very far so that hopefully it stays on. I don't know if I have to go that far anyway. Stay on there. Well, I've been sitting here for a while again and um, just nothing, no action. So I guess the catfish are just not interested, but get back to where I'm camping and uh, cook that bass up. Right on. Never caught a uh, largemouth bass, like I was saying. Yeah, that's good enough, I think. This looks good and dry, this stuff. Should work. Lots of dry grass around. So, it shouldn't be too hard. I was told eastern red cedar, I thought it was juniper to begin with, but slightly different. This is the red eastern cedar. And this here, I'm not really sure what it is, but I'm assuming I should be able to get it to go with, with uh, one spark. Yep. There we go. One spark fire. Oh, I see why they call them <laughs> largemouth bass.
Now it may look pretty burnt to you, but that'll just scrape right off, no problems. So I'm not even worried about that. Cooking it with the skin on is the best way to go. I have a lot of heat there. These uh, hardwoods here, they throw a lot of heat. It may appear that it's pretty burnt. And really, it looks pretty burnt, but you know, that's basically the scales. I'm not too worried. I can just scrape this right off like this, look. This is just burnt scales, really, is all it is. And if I had some water left, I could just rinse it off, but not necessary. I did bring a couple of bottles of water, because I mean, I wasn't going to drink out of the slough, I'd have to boil it pretty good. And that's good enough. A little bit of charcoal flavor never hurt nothing when you're hungry. I'm assuming this is just going to taste exactly like the uh, bass that I caught in Maine. They were smallmouth bass. This is largemouth. And I don't have to eat the skin if I'm not done just right. Cooked all the way through. have my fish and wait for my ride. Mm. You know what? That's pretty good. I think that's the best bass I've had, to be honest. That is pretty darn good bass. I think it's uh, better than the other stuff I had in Maine, actually. Oklahoma bass. Maybe it's just better over here. That is good. I'm not kidding. I'm going to eat this whole darn thing. It's almost got the texture of lobster. I'm not kidding. Best bass I've ever had. Anyway, I want to finish this fish up. And, uh, I gotta get on with frying some bigger fish. We gotta go for boar. Get my trap set, go to that other acreage where I know there are boar. I just shot a boar. That is the exact same texture as lobster. I'm not even kidding. Of course, I said that more than once, didn't I? Finish this up. And on to a new, <coughs> new spot. And hopefully we get a bore on this adventure, this trip. Right on.